soup season, although it isn't that cold out. A lot no, of us have not. a craving for soups yes. these days. And Dan Klassen joining me here this morning. We're going to shake chicken noodle soup up three different ways. Yes, we are. We're going to demo one, but do you want me to run through the yeah, other two spins that I've done Let's show here? how you've done this. Okay. Is this a fun recipe to play with? It's pretty classic. Yeah, oh, chicken noodle soup, you know, at its base, very simple, right? Good quality chicken broth, throw some noodles in there, carrots, celery, boom, you're pretty much done. Yeah. So we just did a spin on, on the basic soup today. So on the, my, my right, pardon me, there's yeah. a Mediterranean spin. So I've used some tomatoes in the broth, so tomato paste and canned tomatoes. I've added a lot of dried oregano just for that extra punch, uh, fresh parsley on top, and in the soup, I actually used cucumbers, which is a little bit unusual. Totally. Yes. Cucumbers hot? Yes, but when you cook them, they actually taste like a really juicy zucchini, so it's not really that different. So uh -huh. I, would, I would totally recommend trying it if you've never tried it before. Oh. And then next you really up, are shaking things right? Back here. We're okay. crazy. What do we have okay. Next? So this is uh, the Asian-inspired chicken noodle soup. So you can't really see, but at the bottom there's just some chow mein noodles that I just boiled quickly just to heat up. Mm -hmm. And now I should mention with noodles, it's try to tip it carefully. Yeah, you can see it there. Perfect. The so noodles. with the noodles, I don't like to throw them in the soup and cook them because you can forget about them. They can overcook and get really basically fall apart. Yes. So I usually cook them separately and throw them in at the end. Same with the chicken. So oh, in that broth, okay. there's a bit of sriracha, some gochujang, which is a Korean uh, pepper paste, and soy sauce. So again, pretty simple, pretty approachable. Nice. Yes. And that heat, if you kind of have cold and flu going on in your house, exactly. that and, works. And that's what this soup is perfect for that we're going to make, actually. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of doing a Indian dal meets chicken noodle soup. So Indian dal is essentially a lentil-based stew. Yeah. It's very popular in India. So all I have going on in here is, again, this uh, good quality chicken broth and some ginger root, which I've sliced up, and also a cinnamon stick, just for some aromatics. Okay. Now, tell me about this good quality broth, because yes. you made this from scratch, right? Do you yes. make your broth from yes. scratch? Yes. And the nice thing, nice thing is, pardon me, if you know if you're buying roast chickens at Safeway or Superstore or Co-op, um, save the bones. If you have vegetable odds and ends, save those too. Put them in the freezer, and then when you have a substantial amount, just throw it in a pot with a whole bunch of water, and yeah. you can make your own stock really, really easily. Really easily. Yes. Okay. And is there any kind of trick? How long do you... How long do you let it stay? Well, you know, you can simmer it for like, you know, about an hour and a half, yeah. and then you kind of let it cool down, skim any fat off the top, and then when you let it set in the fridge, usually there'll be some, a bit of, not scum's not the right word, but you can clear that off too, and then you have, yes, then you have some beautiful, beautiful broth to work with. Shrapnel, perfect. Yes. Okay, All right, let's get so, going. Okay, let's do this. So, I'm going to add some Indian spices here. So, we have turmeric, uh, curry spice blend, so in there there's like ginger, cloves, nutmeg, um, a bit of coriander, and some chili flakes, mm -hmm. and the turmeric is going to give the soup a beautiful bright uh, yellow sort of color. Are you freewheeling that or you go equal parts with your spices? Uh, it's going to be, you can find the recipe on lentils.ca, mm -hmm. but there will be, I think it's about a two teaspoons of the, of the curry spice. How pretty is that salt? Oh, it's beautiful, right? Yes, yeah, so that's from Taste Silk wise, Road? Uh, yeah, it's from Silk Road. Great, great spice store. I was going to recommend, actually, if you're looking for a good curry spice blend, I would definitely check them out. Yeah. Perfect. Put some honey in there, too. Okay. Awesome. Oh, wow, honey. Yes. How and, much honey? Um, about a tablespoon should mm -hmm. do. Okay. And then I have the cooked noodles, because again, you want to put them in after they're cooked so we don't overcook them in the soup and forget about them. Yes. And I also have some cooked green lentils. So again, very, very easy. You take about 15 minutes in a pot of boiling water and they're done. And I'm going to add this all to the pots. Beautiful. Along with a little bit of chicken. And you just let it cook for, you know, about 10 minutes till everything heats through. Add salt and pepper if you want and that's pretty much it. So it's a pretty, pretty easy soup to make. Are there health benefits really? I know chicken Traditionally, it's comforting, it's yes. comfort food, but, yes. but when you add all these spices in there, that's, that's good for you, too. Uh, Turmeric is kind of being touted lately for its health benefits. Mm. Um, I don't know if that's more of a trend than anything, but right. uh, lentils definitely, obviously, really good for you. You know, lots of protein. They have a decent amount of fiber. And, you know, obviously, if you're gluten-free, you can substitute out the noodles for more lentils or, or vice versa. Sure, or if you're vegetarian, you Ex take out the chicken exactly. altogether and go with the lentils. Exactly. Beautiful. And how would you serve this, Dan? Um, I would serve it just, yeah, in a small bowl and with a little bit of, you know, pita on the side or something like that would be quite nice. Okay, yeah. wonderful. And you've got recipes on your blog as well. Yes, for sure. So you can find this uh, Indian-inspired soup recipe on lentils.ca, and the other two will be on my website, eatnorth.com. Okay, wonderful. If you're looking to shake up your chicken noodle soup this morning, we've got you covered. Thanks very much, Dan. Thanks for having me. Great ideas. And uh, Andy, maybe not quite the weather for chicken noodle soup.